Today I'm going to be reworking a couple of old propellers that fit a 18 horsepower Tatsu. Um, I'll show you these props. There's two here. Uh, this one's a 10 pitch and this one here's a 9 pitch. This one's missing part of the blade here which I'll weld back on. Um, these blades have been worn down and yeah, these props are really well used but we can bring them back and reshape them get all the blades the same size and balance them. So I'll run through how we do that. We'll go through it now. Now I've got that uh, corner re-welded back on. I'll just grind that back in to meet this face and the back face. So now that the propeller's up to this stage, um, I will choose the smallest blade. As you can see, these have really been hurt badly. Um, so I'll choose the smallest blade and I'll actually shape this front edge here to a shape that I'm happy with. Um, and then I'll make a um, template of that blade and I'll draw it on the other two, mark it out and I'll grind these to match the smallest blade, which is this one. There you go. So that blade there, I'm happy with the shape of that now. Um, and you can see how thick that front edge is now. I'm not gonna touch that yet. I'm gonna get all the blades the same size. And I do that by, so I cut a piece of vinyl to sit exactly on the blade up against the hub. And yeah, it's the exact, exact size of that blade. And then I can go and sit it on the other blades and mark what I need to cut off. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So you can see it's not a whole heap that I need to take off. Okay, now I've got all these blades the exact same size um, but you can see that front edge is so thick because this propeller originally um, probably would have been about you know five to seven mil bigger on this front leading edge so um, the way to deal with that is we need to obviously sharpen that we never take it off the front face of a propeller um, that pressure face in here that's a very important shape. You don't want to sharpen that point down this way. What you need to do is actually off the back of the blades, you need to sharpen, you know, this part here back in to make this front leading edge thinner. So that's what I'll do now is I'll start sharpening this in and um, bring this back down to, you know, maybe about three millimeters, two and a half millimeters, something like that. And then I'll round that off. Um, and then balance it. So here we go. So this is what it looks like now. Um, with those front edges, they're about three millimeters thick now. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just a rough, yeah, thicknessing. Um, so I'll go over this with a, uh, a bigger disc with uh, lighter sandpaper um, and yeah you d like I said you don't want to be taking too much off these faces or changing the shape of the uh, pressure side of a propeller so I will get a different tool now and keep sanding So the prop, basically I've just uh, used, I don't know, this is probably about a five, six inch, six inch maybe, um, with pretty light sandpaper on that, um, just to blend in 
these edges that I'd sharpened a bit. Um, so yeah, feather these sort of edges in. Um, and what I might do now is I might actually set this up on a balancing, prop balancing tool I have and just see if I need to, um, yeah, take any more weight off any of these blades just to balance the prop. So here we go. So this contraption here is my prop balancer. Um, it was made by a fellow boat racer um, and you've got four screws here. You can level it up so that these two rails end up both level. I mean, you can do you can do the same thing as this with um, two levels. So, if you set up some bricks and some packers and stuff and get two levels, both perfectly flat, um, you can do the same thing. It's just this thing's way quicker for me. Um, so yeah, now we've got this prop in a pretty raw state. Um, at least the blades are the same size. Um, I can guarantee this won't be balanced though, because um, I've taken yeah meat off the back of it to try and sharpen these front edges back up. So I've got a um, whole heap of different shafts which I can slide into uh, different props and yeah then sit it on this and obviously the um, heavy blade will drop to the bottom and then what you want to do is take a little bit of meat off this back edge here until yeah they're all balanced. Um, so we'll get into that. All right. Make sure you number your blades so you know which blade you're looking at that's heavy. So we set this up here. Yeah, so you can see one of them is definitely way too heavy. Yeah, it looks like number three. Yeah, so I'll take some off the back of um, number three. Um, sometimes a prop will sit, you know, like this. Uh, it may mean that you need to take a little bit off three and two, something like that. Um, anyway, but this one, I'll start with taking some off three and see how we go. So when you're looking for somewhere to take off, to thin out a blade, to take some weight out of it, um, if you yeah, I just use my fingers and run them down the blade and just try and mentally gauge um, each propeller blade. So if, yeah, I need to take some off blade three. Um, it was thicker here than the other two. So that's why I've started to take a little bit off here um, to try and balance it out. I still need to take more, um, but yeah, just use your fingers. You can actually get it, use a feeler gauge too. So. Um, yeah, but it's not always, they're not always going to be exact the same thickness everywhere. The main thing is to get that balance back into it. Okay, so pretty much got this balanced. So that it sits on any angle. So now I've got it to that stage. So I have a very crude way to uh, test the balance of a prop. I have a drill here with the right size shaft in it. All right. So you should be able to spin this up and it shouldn't shake this shaft around really. Yeah, running very nicely and not shaking that shaft at all. As, as for a uh, fishing prop, aluminium fishing prop, that's, uh, yeah, that's fine, that's ready for paint. Um, I'll let you prime that and put some black on it and yeah, that'll run totally fine. Um, if that was a racing prop, I would, yeah, take a lot more care, um, really buff it up and um, balance it, polish it and all that sort of stuff to a lot, um, yeah, higher standard. But yeah, for fishing prop, aluminium, that'll be fine, cool. X primer. Put 
both these props etch primed. So time for some gloss black.